Okay, I'm gonna go over uh, built-in Waze alerts in V1 Driver. First thing you gotta know is you have to be connected to one of the supported radar detectors or the options won't even show up. Um, so that option is right here, the third one down called Network Alert Settings. Um, so it's off by default. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is turn it on. And uh, <clears throat> the way it works is V1 driver does not know what road you're on. Um, so what it does is it uses basically a cone that's certain width wide of what to scan uh, on the uh, Waze alerts. Uh, so by default, I set it to a 60 degree cone, so 30 degrees either side. And I also got a slot factor in there, which is 50%. So that basically means um, if you get a hit within 60 degrees, if you turn away and it's that hit is still within, in this example, would be 90 degrees, 50% more, uh, it'll keep that alert. Uh, if it goes beyond that, it'll drop it. So it's kind of like a, um, they call it hysteresis. The way I implemented it is it's going to merge your Waze alerts with your radar alerts into the same table and just label them appropriately. So you don't want too many. Uh, you can get quite a few, if you, especially if you set the distance and uh, width wide or you're really busy. So basically, I set it up just to be the top three, the three closest. Uh, by default, it looks at two miles out. Uh, you can change it to whatever you want, um, up to a limit. And for this example, I'm going to set it to 20 miles because there's not much around here. Uh, hopefully, it'll pick something up. And uh, again, for this demo, it's really designed for running on the highway. It's not gonna run good in town. You can run in town if you want, uh, but um, it's really gonna work best on the highway. So I set a minimum speed of 45 miles an hour. So I'm gonna set that to zero. Um, so something might pop up now. Um, and that's it. And then one other thing you need to be aware of is, let's see if something pops up. Nothing's popping up yet. Um, let's see if it shows it. There it is. So there's the, there's the triangle right there. But it's hard to see the triangle with all the pins and everything. So I have a, a separate view just for Waze. Uh, there's actually about 12 different views on this page. Um, and I'm going to double tap on the records on the top. Um, and if I double tap it, it'll change to the next view. So I'm going to double tap it, and you can see it got rid of the controls at the bottom. Double tap it again, it got rid of the controls at the top. I'm going to keep double tapping until it says network. That brought up the graph. Um, the graph with the controls. Hazard band 1 ahead 13.1 uh, miles at Barnard uh, Ridge Road. Um, so it actually just did find one. Um, so I'm going to keep double tapping this until it says network. I think it's the next one. Okay. And... Um, Let's try it. It's using the compass right now. Sometimes the compass isn't stable. Um, so let's see if it shows. Oh, so another thing is um, some people might like this polar map that I have. Uh, it doesn't work well with the Waze stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch that under presentation to the table view. And now it's sort of more conventional table view see what the map looks like. So you can see the alert right there. And so you can see it's outside the triangle right now. That's because it's within that 90 degrees. It's gonna turn a little bit to the left here and hopefully it'll pick, pick it up and keep it in there. Um, oh, one other thing I didn't explain is there's also a, um, a, remind, a reminder one ahead, distance. 13 so it'll, miles at Barnard Ridge Road. it'll give you the alert uh, at the, you know, the first time it sees it. And then it'll give you a reminder at whatever distance you want. So I set the default to be two miles and the reminder at 1,000 feet. Um, so um, that's been a little buggy, and i got to still figure out what's going on there. Um, and I think that's all you need to know. Uh, this panel won't zoom in past, past that little pie wedge um, by design. Uh, so if you need, need to zoom in further, you got to go to one of the other views. You can go to one of the other views and basically turn off the pins if you want, but this is kind of optimized for it. Um, trying to think if there's anything else. Um, oh, the control on the left, that green control, uh, is normally whether it, a signal is ramping up or ramping down on V1 driver on the, on the radar. 
for uh, Waze alerts, that's basically the confidence. So if it's green, that kind of means low confidence. If it's red and pointing up, that means it's high confidence. The strength is actually the distance of the alert. And that one is that, that identifier that I mentioned. Every alert, so I just went away. Um, every alert is, has a unique identification that's on Waze. Those numbers will be unique. So if you turned around and came back later or something like that and you saw the same number, it's the same exact alert. Um, but that's per session. Every time you connect, that count resets. Um, let's see what else. I think that's about it. Um, let me turn a little bit to the left so I can get it to come up. Compass isn't working that great here. Come on. Come on. Hazard Band 1 yeah, ahead 13.1 miles at Barnard Ridge Road. Um, so that's it. Um, end of video.